for this problem, what they want us to do is they want us to find uh, solve for a. So what we're doing, we're doing a, a literal equation. You guys notice this doesn't have any numbers, so it's going to make it kind of difficult. Well, what we can kind of do is if we look at our a, and a lot of times what I like to do is kind of circle it. Because when I'm circling it, what I'm doing is I'm saying I'm pinning it to the board. I am not going to move a. I'm going to undo everything that's happening to the a. So I look over here, I can say there's a couple things that are happening. One thing is I'm adding a C to a, a. So I'm gonna have to subtract the C. I'm also adding a BX. So if I subtract the BX, that's gonna cancel those two out. Now remember, whatever you do on the right side, you have to do on the left side. Therefore, I have Y minus BX minus C is gonna equal A times X squared. Now again, I need to look at it and say, what is happening to my variable A? that's preventing it from being by itself. Well, it's being multiplied by an x squared. So to get rid of multiplication of an x squared, I can divide by x squared. And when I do that on both sides, that now cancels out to give me one. I'm left with a equals y minus bx minus c all over x squared.